Do you dream of being a YouTuber? Are you a YouTuber who, like myself, have not yet seen the level of success that you desire? Well, now you and I can both live out our dreams in the game YouTuber's Life, OMG. This game's been out for a while. I recently picked it up on sale at Humble Bundle. Link's in the description. It's a fun game. I, I think of it as kind of a Sims Lite game mixed with the tycoon kind of simulator. Simple, t simple tycoon simulator game. You design your character and you pick a type of YouTube channel to start up. There's a gaming channel, a music channel, and a cooking channel right now. They are going to be adding a, a fashion channel soon, which is nice that they're still adding more content to this game, which has been out for quite a while, like I say. I had a lot of fun with this game uh, in my... I, I, I put more than a few hours into it. Uh, I spent most of my time doing the gaming channel. Um, however, I briefly tried out the, the music and cooking channels as well. You start out living in your parents' house, you have your bedroom with your computer, which is very, very low-tech, not very good equipment, uh, just kind of bare-bones setup. But as you progress, you can earn money, you can upgrade your PC, upgrade your equipment, get new software, until you can make really just progressively better content and keep growing your channel, making more money. But with great money comes great responsibility. I think that's what Uncle Ben said. Was it? No. Starting out in your parents' house, you have to juggle your YouTubing with uh, studying. You, you're going to school. You have to get good grades on your quiz or else your mom comes and says how disappointed she is in you. Um, you won't get your, your allowance. If you do good in school, you might get bonuses from your parents. Other kind of incentives there as well. So while you're juggling your time studying, you also might have to work part-time to bring in some cash so that you can uh, pay to, say, upgrade your computer, buy new games, or or if you're doing the music channel, you have to buy new music tracks, or um, if you're cooking, maybe you need to buy new more ingredients, this and that. But it, it, it all comes down to these kind of simple resource and time management mechanics. You also have to take care of your character's uh, basic needs of sleeping and eating. So you gotta take breaks to eat and sleep. You also have uh, kind of relationship management uh, elements there too, which is actually, uh, it, it makes a lot of sense. There's a big emphasis on networking. A lot of your opportunities for growing your channel comes from people you meet. So this is something I need to really um, take notes on myself because I kind of just like to shoot my videos and live like a hermit and hope that people will watch them but but unless you actually get out there and talk to people and tell people about your stuff and share what you're doing you're gonna have a harder time uh, getting your content to really uh, gain any traction. One of the things I've learned from my daughter my daughter has had much more uh, success much more quickly on her channel than I have because she's always constantly networking with people and talking to people and telling them about her channel, asking them to sub, and they do, and she's she's having a great time with it, and um, I am really happy for her and her success. So this is definitely a, something you see in this game as well. You have to go out, go to events, go to parties, meet people, and you'll start having people come to you and asking you to make videos for you and they'll actually pay you to do it as well. Uh, one of the tough things that comes up, uh, at least I saw this in the, the gaming channel part of the game, is that new consoles come out regularly and you'll have to invest in the new consoles to make videos for the more popular games to get more viewers and then uh, a lot of these people will, will be coming to you for these jobs, but you'll, you'll need to invest in different consoles to do so, which is fine. However, the game limits you to only owning a few consoles at a time, so that, that started being a real challenge to me. Uh, not only are the new consoles expensive, but then you have to sell some of the old ones, and then you have people asking you to do videos for this and that, and I forget which consoles I have, and... You have to keep track of what you have and what you have room for on your shelf, what you have money for, and you have deadlines. Uh, quite a few times I agreed to do a video and then I realized, oh shoot, I don't have that console. 
I don't have time to even go earn the money and buy it and then make the video because then time's up and then I, I lost the job, lost respect. There's a lot of clever things in this game. Uh, in growing your channel, you also have what's like a, a Twitter account. You got, you're supposed to do a certain number of posts to keep fan engagement up. You can go to events and you can you can vlog the event. Uh, lots of little touches here and there. Of course, making relationships with your friends. You can uh, eventually you're going to move out of your parents' house and you no longer have to go to school, but then you have greater responsibilities. You have to pay rent. You have to buy food other than uh, just basic water and bread, which doesn't do much for you. Then you'll want to also continue to educate yourself. You can have your character take these courses and study so that their, their skills will go up and you can make better videos and such. It also gets to a point where you can hire employees and that adds a little bit more complexity to it. And you have to then make sure you're bringing in enough money to pay your employees. And the whole management system of the game gets a little bit more complex. It is fun and there are quests that come up continuously to keep you on track. Keep you focused on, okay, what's my next task? Where am I going from here? The process of making the videos itself is fun. Your videos have a number of different stats as you're shooting them and putting them together, editing them. You have all these different aspects of presentation that you have to try and maximize so that the overall quality of the video is good and different events will pop up during your video and you have to choose which one you want. Each one will affect the video in one way or another. Raise up one stat. You have multipliers to look at. Then there's a little editing stage at the end where you have to piece together the different scenes where they fit best. And it, it's fun, it's simple, it's engaging. It really is addictive trying to make this little character's YouTube channel grow and trying to build the success of this person. It really is a lot of fun watching your character go from kind of from rags to riches. You go from from nothing, this very humble beginning, and then you can eventually just build this whole giant empire. I didn't get that far. I spent several hours playing the game, but I came to a certain point and it was just this rude, abrupt ending. I did not expect it. So what happened to me was I had moved a couple times, upgraded my apartment, my dwelling. I thought things were going well. I was struggling a little bit, but seeing the growth and I thought I was halfway through the game, to be honest. And then uh, I, I missed a, a rent payment. Okay, I was in the hole. So what did I do? I went to work. I, I took some side jobs to bring in income, paid the bills. Okay, it happened again next month. I thought, okay, no problem. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pay it back off right away. No, game over. What? What, seriously? Game over? Because I missed rent? I... I what? What? I I was just in awe of this. I'm like, it was totally un unexpected. They didn't give me a chance to pay it back the second time. First time I had paid it back. It's not like I was in the hole two months and I was just a failure. No. But this time I was just game over. And it sent me back to my last uh, save point, which was just way too long ago to go back and start back. I was angry. I did not want to play it anymore. But... You know, I I enjoyed this game a lot, and I would definitely like to go back and restart it from the beginning, knowing what I know now, and doing a better job. It's very engaging. It's simple, but it does get trickier to manage as you go on. There's there's a lot of charm here. There's a lot of different nice elements that just keep everything interesting, from the business mechanics to the character customization to the relationship aspects everything is really well done it's such a simple game but it has layers it has charm it has a lot of heart and i definitely recommend checking it out like i say it's been out for a while but it has a loyal player base and the devs are very loyal to it as well still dedicated to bringing out new free content and i really appreciate that a lot Check out the link below, see if you can get it on sale like I did. I got it for like half off. I'm glad I purchased it. My my nine-year-old daughter really liked the game as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, she's uh, she's a YouTuber herself, and she had a lot of fun with this game too. 
check it out guys youtubers life omg thank you for watching the video if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe click the bell for notifications give me a like and a comment or whatever you feel so inclined to do i appreciate it thanks again for watching take care i'll see you next time